what's up everybody it's demo and there's probably a whole new wave of people coming into defiance i'll have a review on it soon but right now i'm here to tell you kind of how to get stronger and how a little bit of the loot system works in defiance so welcome to defiance for dummies all right i'm gonna try and not take up a bunch of your time so let's make this quick while defiance mainly plays as a third person shooter game it is also an RPG, so there is going to be loot drops. So after you're done lighting people up, there is the possibility that you will find some loot, or gain loot after completing a mission. That's pretty obvious, now let's get into the details. Once you're done with an event and or a mission and collect your loot, you're gonna go to your character menu. From your character menu, you're gonna see your primary, your secondary weapon, a shield, and grenades. You'll notice that each one of these has a gold slash orange number next to them. That's their power level. The higher the number, the better the item essentially. Some items like the shields and grenades also have secondary effects to it. As you can see right here, this has a little plus sign showing that it has some bonus effects while similar shields not having a symbol like that do not. So take your best shields, take your best grenades, whatever gives you the highest number or what you feel comfortable with and equip them. Up here is your power level, it's the combined total of everything you have equipped it. You'll notice right here it's 739, but after equipping a grenade that's more powerful it goes up. Now that's pretty basic, let's get a little bit more in depth. After completing a mission or event, you'll get things on the side here called salvage. At first it might seem useless, but this is where we go into leveling up your weapon. Once again, in your character menu, it's when you're selecting your primary and secondary you'll notice a thing that'll say enhance weapon. Now this is where I freeze the video because we need to slow down and explain this. Now each gun has a rank indicating its rarity. Green is 10, blue is 15, legendary does 25. Those are the three examples I have on me right now. Right next to the ranks are the bonuses that that gun has. For example, the Venom Spitter is 13.56 damage, 14 reload, 12 blast radius. Now of course you remember the salvage we were getting earlier from doing missions. Well you're gonna go into your weapons and you're gonna hit enhance weapon. And then you're going to hit triangle and or Y depending on what system you're on to select again, enhance weapon. Now this is a detonator weapon. So you're going to start inserting detonator salvage. Now when you're done, you hit apply and you'll notice that you went from rank 0 to 4 with that gun. If you have the salvage, keep inserting it to your favorite weapon until you reach max rank with that gun. Once your weapon is mastered, don't think you're done yet. You're gonna go down to modify bonuses. Because that rank I was talking about earlier isn't just for leveling up your gun to that rank, it is also skill points. So go down to modify bonuses and then go to spend bonus ranks. Since this gun goes up to rank 25, you have 25 skill points to spend on your bonuses. Now as an example, I'm going to throw all of my points just into damage by itself, so I can stick all 25 rank points into damage, while a rank 10 gun can only do 10 points into damage. And once that's done, your gun is now a level 487. Now the reason why I wasted all this scrap and skill points on this gun in particular is because I don't really use detonator guns. So it was more of an example, but you get my point. Now that we got ranking guns out of the way, let's talk about your class. This shouldn't take too long. Now this is your skill tree. Honestly, building your character how you want really depends on you, but each class comes with a set of abilities. My character is an assault character, so three of my abilities that I have on me right now include super speed, the ability to heal myself, and I can stun my opponents for five full seconds with the maxed out stun. With the right weapons, skill bonuses, and powers, you can be pretty deadly in defiance. So use this knowledge well. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing and whatnot, and I will talk to you later if you stick around. So, bye bye